What if I told you our universe might have existed indefinitely, even before the Big Bang? Sounds extraordinary, right? Hold on tight, because physicist Brian Cox is exploring this mind-boggling concept. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and groundbreaking theory that challenges everything we know about the universe. Esteemed physicist Brian Cox is embracing an idea that suggests our universe could have existed before the Big Bang. Stay tuned as we explore this mind-bending concept and its implications for our understanding of the cosmos. According to mainstream cosmology, the universe began with the Big Bang. A hot, dense phase from which everything burst forth 13.8 billion years ago. But recent theories suggest there was a phase before the Big Bang known as inflation. During this period, the universe expanded exponentially fast, doubling in size repeatedly in a fraction of a second. This rapid expansion laid the groundwork for the universe we see today. Brian Cox explains that during inflation, the universe could have expanded from a size smaller than an atom to something far larger than the observable universe, all in less than a millionth of a second. When inflation stopped, the energy driving it was dumped into space, heating it up and creating the particles that make up everything around us. This event is what we see as the Big Bang. But what caused inflation? What stopped it? And how long did it last? These questions remain unanswered. There are theories suggesting multiple universes, potentially an infinite number, each with varying constants of nature like gravity and the speed of light. This could explain why our universe is so perfectly tuned for life. The concept of an infinite number of universes is speculative, but it's scientifically valid and actively researched. It's fascinating to think that every possible combination of the laws of nature could exist in different universes, making our universe just one of many where conditions are right for life to exist. One of the most intriguing ideas comes from Sir Roger Penrose's Conformal Cyclic Cosmology CCC. This theory proposes that our universe is just one in an infinite cosmic lineage, continuously cycling through creation and destruction. Penrose suggests our universe emerged from the remnants of a previous one, setting in motion an eternal cycle of cosmic rebirth. The James Webb Space Telescope has made discoveries that support Penrose's theory, finding galaxies and black holes that defy conventional timelines of cosmology. These discoveries suggest that galaxies may have formed much earlier than previously believed, and the existence of ultramassive black holes near the dawn of time challenges our understanding of how such structures could have formed so rapidly after the Big Bang. Hawking points, tiny remnants of black holes from previous universe cycles, are imprinted within the cosmic microwave background, serving as cosmic fossils. These points offer glimpses into the epochs that preceded our own, hinting at a universe far more ancient and interconnected than we ever imagined. Brian Cox emphasizes that inflation, the rapid expansion before the Big Bang, is not speculative but mainstream cosmology. Inflation is a well-established theory that has gained substantial support from a variety of observational evidence. This theory posits that in the moments immediately following the Big Bang, the universe underwent a period of extremely rapid expansion, growing exponentially in size. This expansion was so rapid and intense that it smoothed out any irregularities in the early universe, laying the groundwork for the large-scale structure we observe today. The concept of inflation addresses several key problems in cosmology, such as the horizon problem, the flatness problem, and the magnetic monopole problem. The horizon problem arises from the observation that the universe appears homogeneous and isotropic, the same in all directions, on large scales. In the standard Big Bang model, there hasn't been enough time since the universe's inception for light, and therefore any causal influence, to travel across these vast distances and homogenize the universe. Inflation solves this by proposing that regions now far apart were once close enough to interact and reach thermal equilibrium before being driven apart by the rapid expansion. The flatness problem concerns the observed geometry of the universe. The universe appears to be very close to flat, meaning that its overall curvature is very small. In the standard Big Bang model, this would require incredibly fine-tuned initial conditions. Inflation naturally drives the universe towards flatness, regardless of its initial curvature, making a flat universe a natural outcome of the inflationary process. The magnetic monopole problem is addressed by inflation as well. Certain grand unified theories predict the existence of magnetic monopoles, which should be abundant in the universe. However, no magnetic monopoles have been observed. Inflation dilutes any magnetic monopoles, or other exotic relics, to such low densities that they become essentially undetectable, resolving this discrepancy. 
While inflation itself is now a cornerstone of cosmology, the idea that it could lead to multiple universes, or a multiverse, is more speculative. However, this speculation is grounded in solid scientific reasoning. The theory of eternal inflation suggests that the rapid expansion of the universe never completely stopped. Instead, in some regions, inflation continues indefinitely. These regions are constantly producing bubble universes, each with its own distinct physical laws and constants. Our observable universe would be just one of these bubbles, where inflation has ceased, allowing stars, galaxies, and other structures to form. The multiverse concept fundamentally alters our understanding of the universe and our place within it. If there are indeed an infinite number of universes, each with different properties, then the existence of life in our universe might not be as special or unlikely as it seems. Instead, it could be one of countless possible outcomes in an unimaginably vast multiverse. This perspective forces us to reevaluate our understanding of what is normal or special. In a multiverse, even the most unlikely events must occur somewhere. And our existence becomes one such inevitable occurrence in the grand tapestry of all possible realities. This idea of multiple universes also has profound implications for the fine-tuning problem in cosmology. The fine-tuning problem refers to the observation that the fundamental constants of nature appear to be finely tuned to allow for the existence of life. Even slight variations in these constants would result in a universe where life as we know it could not exist. In a multiverse, this fine-tuning could be explained by the anthropic principle, which states that we observe these particular constants because we exist in a universe where they are conducive to life. There could be countless other universes with different constants, but we can only observe the one that allows for our existence. Brian Cox's emphasis on these concepts underscores the importance of continued exploration and inquiry into the nature of the universe. As we delve deeper into these theories, we are reminded of the limitations of our current understanding. The idea that our universe might be just one of many forces us to confront the possibility that our knowledge of reality is still in its infancy. We are merely scratching the surface of the true nature of the cosmos. This realization is both humbling and inspiring. It highlights the vastness and complexity of the universe, encouraging us to keep questioning, exploring, and seeking answers. The pursuit of knowledge in cosmology is not just about understanding the universe's origins or its ultimate fate. It is also about understanding our place within it, our connection to the cosmos, and the profound mysteries that still lie beyond our reach. Ultimately, Brian Cox's exploration of inflation and the multiverse serves as a powerful reminder of the boundless curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge that drives scientific inquiry. It is this spirit of exploration that has led to some of humanity's greatest achievements and will continue to push the boundaries of our understanding, revealing the profound beauty and complexity of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mind-bending theories of our universe's origins. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the idea of multiple universes and the eternal cycle of cosmic rebirth. Until next time, keep wondering about the mysteries of the cosmos.